my advice is um, never let your friend drink half a bottle of tequila. <laughs> Wait, you let your friend drink half a bottle of tequila? Well, I wasn't like present, but I walked into the situation and then we had to call FRTH and she had to go to the alcohol room. So never do that. Yeah. Is she okay now? I think so. <laughs> we don't talk. Yeah, yeah, you know what time it is. It's a milkman. Right now we're here at the University of Guelph. First, I want to say shout out to the All Nighter Gang. We work hard, study hard, and we play hard. And now we're going to find out what students wish they knew before coming here. Peace. All right, cool. So I'm here with Andrea, Jasmine, Kara. Uh, my name is Vandela. Alex. Paige. Baljot. Danae. Sarah. Rebecca. And Twyla. Mike. Katie. Chloe. And Hallie. All right, ladies, what year are you guys in? Second year. Uh, I'm second year, yeah. Third. Also third. I'm in first year. First year. All right, so what's one thing you wish you knew before coming to Guelph? I would just say be aware of how, like, rural it is. Like, you know, it's the agricultural college, but it's really rural. Like, there are cows on campus, and it's, like, fun. But if you're not used to it, it's, like, a little bit of adjusting. So, literally, cows are walking around campus and stuff? No, but you can just walk over just across the road by the second cop. There are cows and horses just chilling. Okay, so are you saying, like, if you run out of milk, then you know where to go? <laughs> Maybe. Um, I mean... You can't really like touch the cows, but I mean, maybe you could hop over there and try it. I don't know. Haven't haven't gone that desperate yet. Still have my meal plan money, but. I wish I knew that there is a lot of surveillance. So if you're gonna plan on doing something stupid, maybe rethink it. <laughs> and how did you find that out? If you don't mind me asking. <laughs> um, by getting caught on surveillance. <laughs> okay, and if you get caught on surveillance, can you charm your way out? Or what is the actual process of getting caught? Um, compared to other people involved, the magnitude of my actions weren't actually as bad. So I got off pretty easy, but you could possibly charm your way. My advice is um, never let your friend drink half a bottle of tequila. <laughs> Wait, you let your friend drink half a bottle of tequila? Well, I wasn't like present, <laughs> but I walked into the situation and then we had to call FRTH and she had to go to the alcohol room so never do that yeah <laughs> is she okay now i think so <laughs> we don't talk <laughs> is it because you let her drink half a bottle of tequila no sorry <laughs> make good friends that's another um, point <laughs> no that's not <laughs> nice. she's a good person we're just we drifted we weren't in the same program <laughs> people grow apart right yeah, yeah. okay so would you say that's also a part of you know going to university right or, yeah you really Find who like your true people and friends. You guys want a hug? Oh god, you sure? No, I'm not at her. <laughs> Surround yourself with good people that won't get you in trouble to avoid those situations. Got you. Now, were you part of the good people group or were you part? Of no, <laughs> I was not. <laughs> and uh, so, what have you realized? Like, what's the one thing that you've learned based on finding out that there's a lot of surveillance? I would say just don't be stupid. Yeah. Okay. Your mistakes and then move on with your life. Stay focused on your goals, whatever you're trying to achieve. Make sure that you come here with a type of focus that's going to catch you through university and the program that you choose is something that you really like and enjoy doing. Got you. Is there something about this university that can make someone stray away from their focus? Uh, the biggest thing is shorties here are wild. Just be, be ready. Be ready. Can you break that down? What do you mean the shorties are wild? Uh, all I know is like First week, it's just shorties everywhere. Guelph's like 70% women. So if you're a guy, you better come through. Even it out, look sweet, get your Air Forces on, whatever. But like, shorties act crazy here. They turn up, they're about it. Just making sure that you're balancing everything is very important and not letting any side distractions kind of take you away from what you're here for. And that's paying for your education and actually achieving what you're here to achieve, right? So I just got to ask you, man, I was going to say, a, a dapper man like yourself, you're here at Guelph, how do you maintain, like, if you got shorties all over the place, how do you maintain your sanity, your focus, and, you know, just your schoolwork, you know what I mean? Ooh. I mean, something's got to give. With me, it's looking like the grades are giving. 
But uh, I don't know. You do the best you can. Try to stay out of trouble, you know. You like you let them out easy. You just feel like, yeah, you're nice, but I got a girl or whatever it be, you know. I wish I knew that meal plan food is real food and it all adds up. <laughs> all adds up in what sense? You can gain a lot of weight pretty fast when you eat fries for every meal, <laughs> and so I would recommend not doing that and maybe eating healthier and pacing yourself. <laughs> So are you saying Guelph doesn't have healthy options here? Oh, no, they definitely do, which I started just looking at after I ate all the crappy food. Um, they had, like, wraps and pretty good, like, food at Creelman, which is a food place. <laughs> but they have really good food, too, which is why it's so hard to eat yeah. healthy, because you want the bad food. I would prepare yourself for living on res. Um, it's all, not always as good as you think it's going to be. There's a lot of noise, and people always don't have the same habits as you, so... Know before coming in if you want to have like a random assignment roommate or, you know, if you want to live on your own. It's put the thought into it because you might not um, know what you expect or want. There's also wings available at oh. midnight in yeah. your residence room that you shouldn't be eating. <laughs> Did you say wings at midnight? Yeah, wings at midnight. They're really good. Yeah. Are you introverted or extroverted? Um, I'd say I'm a little bit of both, but when it comes to like that situation, like the whole res, I'm introverted. <laughs> so if you're introverted, what res would you suggest to someone? I would suggest South Residence. Yeah. Not because like South is a good place. I live in South and I have a single, so it's nice to like have my own space, but still like there's so many people in that residence and like you can still, it's such a great chance to meet so many other people. Uh, I would tell myself to put yourself out there more, meet new people. Obviously, it's going to be nerve-wracking the first time coming to a new uh, place, especially university. So, obviously, making friends is the easiest thing. So, if you can, I know it's hard for people. Just try to put yourself out there, meet new people, do new things. My advice to someone coming to Guelph would just be, like, take advantage of every single opportunity you can. Like... I, partying included like you got to have balance just make sure you have balance when you come to university basically all right so you say there's usually things to do all the time yeah. what's your what's your what's your favorite thing to do here um probably just like being around my friends and I guess like it's not really fun but doing schoolwork but like especially if you have other people to do them with and um like going out to like the bull ring the bull ring is a great place to be and just for like every day and joining clubs, I guess. And is there a res that you would recommend people to live in or try to get into? Oh, definitely. Lambton, North Res up there. Best res. Um, some advice I would give someone coming to Guelph is just be prepared for the change of school from high school to university. I found it a lot harder, it, kind of more real. Like you actually have to like participate more and put more work into rather than just like high school. Okay. It's a lot of work and you have to study really hard. You're going to be up really late nights. <laughs> How late is late? Uh, I've been up to like 4 a.m. studying. Jeez Louise. And does Guelph have resources for students in your in your case? Like for incoming students, do they have good resources to help you out to, to transition you and whatnot? Yeah, for sure. Like in the library, there's so many things. We have SLGs, which are supported learning groups, which is like they've helped me so much uh, this whole semester. I also got some tutors for my classes. Like there's a lot of ways that you can definitely pass your classes and do really well. Yeah, they have great resources. They have so many people for your first year orientation week. They have like so many people reaching out like for support and help that you can get. Just look at the syllabus very, very often and kind of make a schedule for yourself, you know, so you can keep on top of your stuff. Okay, is there something about this university that makes it hard for students to keep on top of their studies? Uh, I mean, it's like, I feel it's a little bit more difficult than your average university, but it's not too, too hard. But yeah, they really like, they're kind of nitpicky and you should really like keep on your stuff and kind of create like a schedule for yourself for sure. Got you. So how is like, how are the professors, the TAs, are they supportive in that, in that instance you're talking about? Are they supportive or are they not supportive? I mean, it all depends on like the teacher or TA, like some can be really, really strict. Some can be like, they can really be empathetic and cool. Yeah, for sure. All right. So there you have it. Everything you need to know about the University of Guelph. Like, subscribe, head on off this. Easy, fam. So, you know, on this campus, I'm kind of noticing that it probably looks beautiful in the fall. Like, do you have any opinion on that? Oh, for sure. It looks super dope during like the fall time, it, even during the summer when I come a couple times. But yeah, like 
Uh, the trees are just super nice. Like the grass is cut and everything. It just looks super dope, especially for first years when you first kept coming in. It's like a cool environment. And if you go to the Arboretum, it actually looks so cool.